My name is Doug Adams. I am the managing partner of uh, Cimarron Valley Ranch here in uh, Baca County, Colorado in Cimarron County, Oklahoma. Got uh, 45,000 deeded acres and about 4,000 acres of state and uh, private lease land here with the ranch for a total of just under 50,000 acres of land. I'm Dax Hayden and I'm the managing partner of Hayden Outdoors. 22 miles of river, the average uh, width of the cottonwood bottom from end to end is almost a mile. The diversity of the ranch to have elk, somewhere between 250 to 350 head of animals using the ranch regularly. Mule deer, world class scale in the hills adjoining the ranch and down on the pivot. You've got Rio Grande turkeys, bobwhite quail, blue quail, elk, white tailed deer, mule deer. I think the main feature is the river and the availability of water here. The water development is uh, unlike anywhere we've ever been. Water tables typically two to 10 feet below the surface. For the area that this is in, this is probably the best water we've ever had to work with. Uh, we've, we've put in uh, pivots, irrigation. Uh, we've planted uh, a thousand acres of strips along the edge of the river bottom just outside of the riparian area. We've cleared what we call senderas or, or clearings 100, 200 foot wide down into the, to the riparian area and, and planted some of those so that the animals can, can eat and move back and forth. From year to year, this year to last year, I would say there were two to three times the number of animals that we see on a daily basis on the property. And a big component that we have that, uh, that we enjoy so much is, is the recreation and hunting aspect of it. Currently we're running about 1,600 mother cows and we're in a cow-calf operation. We graze out the, the, uh, the river bottom through pastures from December 1 to May 1. Our end goal is to run 2,000 mother cows here. So this year we're running 1,600 and wanted to try that for a year or two. Given that the wildlife is increasing and there's more and more animals around to be sure that there's enough feed for both the animals and the cattle to coexist. We feel like the income potential could, uh, could exceed $2 million a year on the cattle, given the wheat circles and grazing them out with the, with the winged calves. The Cimarron Valley Ranch runs between two national grasslands, the Cimarron National Grassland and the Comanche National Grassland, and this ranch has 22 miles of river between those two national grasslands, possibly connecting two national grasslands together with river. Uh, of that magnitude is pretty unheard of. You could farm this in a number of different ways. Run less cows and more farm. Run all cows and zero crop that you actually are planting to harvest. Seen just tons and tons of bucks that range from 155 inches to 170 inches. For so many two and three year old deer here, it's, just, it's crazy. A garage is a, a 7,000 foot metal building that is uh, custom finished on the inside, it has seven bedrooms, a commercial kitchen, huge fireplace. I mean, I mean it's super comfortable. Uh, there's, a, there's an outbuilding that goes with it. We're on the edge of four different major oil fields. We're keenly interested in that. We're, we're having some 3D seismic work done and, uh, and believe that the potential here is, is strong. So the uniqueness is with the availability of the water and that riparian area and then that bench that has the better soils on it, you just have so much flexibility to do different things. And the availability to water cattle and wildlife, it, 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 the, the soils and the usable dirt on the place are unlike any place we've had before.